This your boy J Law Familiar, and I'm rocking with DJ Malone. Yeti. Keep it locked. Yo, this is Travis Scott. Wah, wah, wah. It's your boy, little baby. This is Drizzy Drake. With Chi Town Urban Radio. It's the one and only DJ Malone. How you guys doing, man? Chi Town Urban Radio, Chicago 773. The best place to be in on any day, really, man. I, I wanted to say this first and foremost, man, before we get anything out, out the mud. RIP to DMX has just been confirmed that. He did pass away at the age of 50, and, um, you know, I want to give praise up to him because he was, I, I really respected his, his craft and what he had going on, man. So um, with all that being said, I'm still bringing you guys artists or just people who are around who I just want to talk to and get to know, man. Like this next person that I got coming up right now, man, is, is really putting forward on the map, and I really respect his grind, man. I've been checking him out and everything. Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself real quick? Yeah, this is your boy, Jay Law Familiar. Like I said, Florida boy. Little small country town, Leesburg, about 45 minutes outside of Orange County, Orlando. And I'm representing the state, the Sunshine State. Hey, Jay's in the building, man. What's going on, man? Not much, man. Just taking it easy. A day at a time, man. It's Corona. Yeah, it's slowing us down, but we got to keep it moving. Yeah, well, yes, we, yes, we do. Yes, we do. Now, I want my listeners to get to know about you, man, because you, you, you really have a cool story, and I, I, I really like your hustle and everything, man. So let's go into a time machine real quick. Where did this all start, and where did this all begin? Uh, the music in general? Yeah, the just, music. Just, uh, how did you get into music? Well, really, it was like it was it was, it was more so sort of like uh, my younger brother's dream. You know, I'm the oldest, and I got I only got one brother, and okay. you know, he was into it forever. I was was just like you know doing my own thing, and that was my little brother, and I end up falling in love with it from him. You know, just doing it so much around the house. So it started with my little brother, you know, inspiring me to do it. And uh, then once he did that, I realized I had a knack for it and I had a love for it. Okay. Okay. So now who were some of your inspirations growing up, man? Like who were you listening to? Uh, I listened to uh, Jay-Z, uh, Young Jeezy. Rick Ross, uh, T.I., uh, some of the older guys I like, you know. <clears throat> so I'm in touch with a, a couple of, uh, mo- mo- most of the older artists. Okay. Hey, I ain't mad at that, man. Yeah, a lot of people li- live, live out their legacy, man, and and, and, and the better. Florida is really... It, it, I, I, I have a, I have a, a love hate relationship with Florida, man. Florida is, is, is a good, is a good state for homegrown talent. It just, I wish they could stay consistent enough to really get that sign. Right, 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 right. Yeah. So yeah. talk. talk. Talk to me about growing up in Florida, man. Like, cause I, I know out there, man, it's it, it, it's a lot going on, and, and and a lot of people don't get to don't get to see the talent, don't get to hear about the talent, man. So right. talk to us well, about that. Okay, so uh, well, Florida, you know, we 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 a peninsula, we surrounded by water. You know, first of all, it's a retirement state in a vacation area. So, you know, when we go to talk about a retirement state, you know, when it comes to music, and especially if you're in the genre I am, hip-hop and all that, you know, it just ain't a lot of room for that when there's retirement communities everywhere, you know. So you got that aspect, and then you got the fact that, uh, like, uh, Florida is, like, made up of a lot of country little towns. You know, you only know about, you know, three major cities. That's Jacksonville, Orlando, Miami. And 
that's been part of, you know, ta- Tallahassee, you know. But within those four cities, it's a whole lot of little country areas, which also makes it yeah. hard. You know what I mean? So it's, it's, it's just Florida, it probably seems fast-paced, but it is slow, it's slow-paced. And it is the retirement area, kind of like you know. So it's a it's a it's a lot of that going on. So when you have retirement areas, you got Lord's ordinance and all of these things. So if you wanted to just promote something right out the blue in the area you live in, it's gonna be difficult living in the area that I live in, you know, just because of that. So that makes it okay. hard to that. Okay, that's dope. That's what's up, man. So now, now let, let's fast forward just a little bit. Now, when did you know that I I, I really want to take this music thing and do something with it for real? When when was that time that you said, "Hey, I, I really I really want to take music seriously"? It was about. It was about. It was about two or three years ago. It was funny, like, when I actually took it serious, I didn't do music. When I took it serious, it was other things that I had to get out of the way first. Okay. So, so in order for me, because I got kids and stuff like that, I got a daughter that's in college, things like that. So in order for me to, uh, and I still have younger kids too, but they pretty much, for the most part of what their mom, all the kids that were living in my household are either grown up or in college now. So, you know, when I just get a child support bill for my other kids and I get to visit them whenever they want to come see me or whatever. So for me, my thing was to go ahead and the kids that was old enough to go to college and stuff, make sure I made some type of way to help them out in that situation and all that and my daughter still currently is in college and once i accomplished those things and i had that set aside i was gonna you know put put all the chips on myself you know but i just had uh i just wanted to get my daughter that was going to college i wanted to get her situated so by the time she was like uh a junior or senior in school, I really started getting serious about it. And I got serious about making sure I saved and set aside what did I need to do for her so that I could actually really spend some of my savings on this music. You know, because you got one life to live and, you know, I'm a, I'm a little older. I'm not like a young yeah. rapper. You know. I'm a little older. So, you know, and it's just the example of people never to give up on your dreams because it's actually a dream that I've been had, but having children at a young age intervened, and I had to take care of my responsibility first. So, hey, that's, hey, that's, that, that, that's never wrong with that, man, because it, it, you know, you, it's all about legacy. You know what I'm saying? You want to leave a legacy to your kids, something that, you know, that they can pass on to, to, to their kids. You know what I'm saying? Right, 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 right. Yep, that's what I'm trying to do, and I and I feel like it ain't over until the time and and, and until the top the the clock stop ticking. (laughs) Yeah. So how have you been doing this pandemic stage, man? Throughout this whole COVID stuff, how have you been? Um, I've been good. Uh, uh, you know, um, my job. There's a uh, was a plumber. I got into an accident, and I uh, <clears throat> and I haven't been able to do it as of lately. But I own some other companies. But my my main source of income was I was a plumber. So during COVID, you know, I was always essential needs because I did plumbing and new construction. So as far as when COVID hit, you know, it was kind of still. It was, I mean, it, it wasn't good as it was, but I was going to work every day. So it was like, it wasn't a real break for me because I was in central need. So I got lucky in okay. that aspect. 
I'm glad you're doing good, man. I'm I'm really happy to hear that. And with all this being said, you got you got a new uh, EP. I got a new EP. Yes, I do. Street life, Street. man. So let's talk about that. Street life. Street life is man is a uh, it's a CD, man. It's it's to me it should motivate you to get some money. You know, whatever your whatever your hustle is, whatever your craft is, man, whatever your dream is, whatever your goal is, man, it should motivate you to want to do that to the utmost, you know. And, it, 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 you know, my music is told from a hustler's uh, point of view. You know, I live that life as well. So my music is told from that point of view. But it's for anybody that's, you know, need some motivation. You know, I pretty much on every song, I'm going to try to find some way to motivate you to go get a dog and have some fun, you know, live life, you know. So. Yeah, yeah, that go get a dog. I think it's got a nice mixture. It got some hard core, some offensive stuff. Then they got some stuff that'll make you think, you know. Then it just got some stuff just right, right up in your face, real that some people won't say, but I don't care, you know. <clears throat> so it just is what it is. Um, how many tracks are on the EP? Uh, we got seven on them, on there. seven tracks on. There. Okay, good handful. That's a good handful. Seven tracks on there, and they nice full song. And like you know, I like the old school artists, so I believe in full songs. <laughs> and yeah. so I believe in full songs, and I do believe in uh, uh, using words that you know that are really words. You know, I'm kind of old school, you know. But I think it's I don't know. I, it, it, I'm a like I like I said, I'm an old school, and I like the the word play, and you know, you listen to the music and think a little bit. Sort of like a little bit of a t storyteller, you know. But we got new kind of beats, and you know, I applaud the new generation for what they doing for music too, you know. But I think I am the blend between both, you know. Okay, so talk to us about the single that that's on there. What uh, Nate, tell us about the single? Oh, trap Hamp. <clears throat> okay, so I gotta ask, why that name? Uh, cause it's like a, just like I said, most of my music in some type of way, form or fashion, is gonna motivate you to get money and whatever your hustle is. <clears throat> you know, it's just it's it's, it's uh, when you serious about whatever your craft is. And, you know, success is, is measured by what each individual feels is success. So, whatever you do, that's your craft, and you feel like you doing a good job at it. I call that trap hat. That's your problem. I'm just telling the point of, I'm just telling the story from a hustler's point of view. <clears throat> yeah. But, Hey, and that, and that, and if you got a barber shop and you doing fifty heads a day, and you got and you get in your bag and you step out and you clean, you should feel trap happy too. <laughs> so that's what that's so hey, man. That's why I chose that name. That's that go get a mentality though, and and that comes from like you know what I'm saying. Like I I believe whenever you know what I'm saying. You, it's just that hustle mentality that you have, and you're expressing it in, in a way of like, "Hey, yo, this is the way I gotta get for mine." You know what I'm saying? And there's nothing right. wrong with that. If, if, if anything, shit, people need to hear. Right, right, right. <clears throat> yeah, like I say, it will because I, I listen to my own song to like sometimes because this 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 path ain't easy sometimes you feel down or sometimes you ain't getting the response you want to or the amount of response you want to so and what's strange is my own music 
motivates me to keep going. So, you know, I feel like it's gonna do the same for somebody else. And I'm a I'm a I'm a hard critic on myself as well. So it's like yeah, and I uh I just I don't know, I just I just take my time and just uh listen to the music, put it out there. And if it make me feel that way, I just feel like it's somebody else that'll feel that way. Because <clears throat> I know it more yeah. make me to do so. Who would you like to work with going into the future? Like, who would, who, what was somebody that you would like to work with? That I would like to work with? Hmm. I don't even know. I don't even know. It's... it's Man, it's it's a you know because I'm I'm one of these artists that's like I don't down another man crap. I respect it for what it is. So it's like it's so many people <clears throat> that's good in what they do in music, and I'm one of them artists that I'm I'm kind of versatile. You know, I can get on anything. So with that being said. And so many genres and different types of music, depending upon what genre we're talking about, or you know what uh, what type of beat we use. You know, my artists may change. So it's it's it's, it's hard to answer that question. Just depending on what I'm gonna do. Like sometimes I hear a certain beat, and I might be like, "Oh yeah, I can get on that." He might sound good like that on there with you know it's like that kind of thing because I do it from a real natural feeling you know what I mean yeah yeah I, I get I get it I get it, it, it it's hard to pinpoint on, on the style right right because oh, no, that's, like, that's why that's why I don't have a favorite rapper you know what I'm saying because I like all types of music and some are better in different genres than others. You see what I'm saying? Music is too diverse to have just one favorite. Who would you... All right, let me ask you this. And, and, and not not who, but where would you like to perform at? If you could perform anywhere, where would it be? Uh, man, I got to perform at Madison Square Garden. <laughs> Madison Square. I'm mad at that. I am not mad at that. He said, "I aim I, when I aim, I aim big. I ain't mad at that." Yeah, that's where I want to perform, man. <laughs> okay, that's dope, man. Well, Jay, I do appreciate you, man. We're coming down to nitty gritty and everything. Um, I want I wanted people to to know one thing, though, man. I wanted I wanted to ask you this before we headed out. In the next three years, where do you see yourself as an artist, as a human being? Oh uh, man, in the next three years, uh, I see myself accomplishing uh, some things. Uh, uh, the label getting a little legs under it, uh, start to move forward with the music career because I don't, I really don't plan for it to happen overnight, you know. But I think um, my music is pretty good. I, three to four, maybe five years tops, it should be, you know, it should be making some noise all across the globe. And uh, so, you know, at that point, you know, the money comes. And me, I want to do something else when it comes. I want to start like these nonprofit organizations to uh, oh. to uh, cater to single uh, single parent uh, homes. So if the music take off good within the next three years, I hope to see myself managing my label as well as being an artist and spending my rest of my uh, spare time at these non-profit organizations, you know, spending some time with these kids around these hoods, man. That's what right. though. I like to hear it. It goes to plan. That's, that's what's going to happen. <laughs> 
Well, let, let's put that in the universe, man, because we definitely need that. I, I, I definitely am excited, man, for everything you got going on, Jay. I really, I really am. Uh, what, uh, the Facebook, where can they find you on Instagram, all that? Uh, on all sites, we, um, on Instagram is J Law for me. That's J A Y underscore L A underscore F A M I L I A. And I'm on uh, Twitter, TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, uh, all of these sites. I'm on the J Law for me. Just type in the same thing J A Y, Creature Space, L A Space. Familiar. I'm on all sites under that name. And as far as the music goes, if you want to find the music, I'm pretty much on all platforms. Uh, you can buy it off, you know, the Apple Store. You can go to Spotify. Uh, pretty much anywhere they sell the music at. <clears throat> all the digital stores. And you can get it off Amazon. That's Pretty much, if you type in that J Law for me, something should come up that'll get you though. Know? Oh man, yeah, I do appreciate you being on here, man, and and talking with me, man. It, it's I, it's been a pleasure. I really am looking forward to see what you got cooking up for the next time. Make sure you guys get get his EP. Is is the EP out right now, or is it is it uh still still yeah, on the work? It's, 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 it's live right now. It's live. People can go purchase. Oh, street people, can go, people can go scream. People can go make TikToks to it. What you know? Whatever we have, whatever we want to do with it. It's out and it's live. Hey, call Street Life, people. Make sure you guys get in tune. Follow his story. I really enjoyed. I really thoroughly enjoyed you, man. And uh, I'm in. I'm interested to see what goes on. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Thanks for having me, man. Y'all go check out that Street Life Volume 1 by J. Law Familia. It's a must-have, a must-grab. I like that. I like that slogan right there. Must-have, a must-grab. Hey, I ain't mad at that, man. Jay, before you go, man, I'm the king of the drop. If you can, can you say, hey, yo, this is Jay, and I'm rocking with DJ Malone? Yes, sir. Hey, I appreciate that, man. I really do. All right, man. Thanks for having me, man. Oh, man. It's a pleasure, bro, and I really do appreciate you. Keep your radios locked to the hottest radio show on the airwaves. Shot Town Urban Radio.